everybody, it's your boy Rez back here today from Rez Group. Rad, he will be appearing in the next video. I know I say he'll be appearing in this one, but he'll be appearing in the next video. We're going back to the Flashpoint day. It's supposed to be day one. It's supposed to be day two. But we'll get into that. We're going to be getting into, remember, we uh, this is supposed to be Finland or Sweden we're doing on this map. And on this episode... You know, I was telling you guys about the about how good the infantries are and all of that. Now I'm gonna be talking about the towns, how you can level up your towns so you know you earn more hit points, more victory points, and we're gonna start we're gonna start talking about how we're gonna attack the Baltic states. But we're not gonna officially attack them now because I wanna get more sources because I haven't been playing this. I wanted to get you guys. This is gonna be like our little thing. Hold on, did I Get one up here. It's gonna be like our little thing that we we hear that we use. So about three hours ago, because this is not on a 4x scale. On a 4x speeding scale, it'll be cut half the time. So a regular day is 24 hours, and 4x scale, six hours is a full complete game, which we will get into one of those when this goes out. So right here, my main I want to say is. Helensky is Helensky, Finland. This is my capital. So with my capital, I have a level one army base, a level one air base, a arms industry, a harbor. And what I want to do to make them make that stronger than what it is before, make that stronger than what it was before. You know, let's go ahead and get a basic infantry started because we're going to need all the infantry that we can get. So to make them stronger, you see right here, let's go to the army base. Army base, you're getting, if you had a level 2 army base, you're getting hit points of 15. So if if you were to hit a, I'm going to say if you were to hit somebody with a level 2 hit point, you would, it would hit with um, 15 damage. For like I think every hour, and as you go up in uh, in your armies, then you get more hit points. When people are trying to come into your army base, you get more hit points. So level two, you hit fifteen, it gives you more hit points. Level three, twenty hit points. Level five, thirty, and then I think that's the 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 most it go is max out is level five. So. The same thing with the air base. The air base is the same thing. You get more hit points and stuff like that on planes and things like that. You know, and then you have the same thing for the recruiting office. The recruiting office, you have a hit point of 10 and an also level 2, a hit point of 15 and 5. And then the real thing that I wanted to get down into is underground bunkers. So your underground bunkers, if someone was to hit you, you would get 20, you get 20 hit points. So you'll take less damage, you would take 33% less damage, and then you'll take 43% less damage, you get 20, uh, you get 2, uh, you get to level 2, and then level 5, you get a negative 73 hit point. So I mean, if you keep upgrading this bunker, which I will get to, but you know, I'm mobilizing my arms industry. That's the main things that people need to get. Army bases, Arm industries and recruiting office. Your recruiting offices is for your officers and your airborne infantry people. They're also for your what is it right here? It's they're also for your National Guard. The National Guard they need, like you can see right here. If I wanted to go and let's say get a National Guard, I would need. Hold on. Hold on. I would need a recruiting office. So you need to get a recruiting office, just like for these officers, recruiting offices. And you need recruiting offices for your officers and for your National Guard. So keep that in mind while you're playing. And I I know I said I was going to get the Baltic States, which we are still going to go get the Baltic States. But when I was looking today, I think Russia took a, a whole lot more. But this country right here, I want to say it's... Los Vo, Los Vo, I don't know how to pr pronounce it. Somebody please give me the pronunciation in the comment section. I want to say it's Los Vo. Take this, 
take I'm gonna take a unit actually um, what do I wanna do what do I wanna do uh, okay well yeah I'll take this right here and I'm gonna go attack Los Vo because Los Vo it looks like they're low on something and it actually looks like Russia and them have been fighting it out because I know they'll get more land in this I mean I think this used to be land for um, Los Vo and just like uh, well, we're gonna get into that later and just like Russia and certain things like that so um, yeah so we're gonna go, we're gonna take this unit, we're gonna move it up into Los Vo, and we're gonna start attacking. This is the first thing for attack, and then we're going to, that's another thing, when you're attacking, it's best for you to also wave point. I love wave pointing. You, lay, you wave point, and that's your next thing. And then we're gonna go, we hit, uh, we hit, uh, Car Car Carlisle, Carlisle, I wanna say? And then you're going to wave point, and we're going to hit another town. And then after that, that's 14 hours. So then we're going to hit, and then after that, we're going to go and hit this. And then we just took all of, of uh, Kara, Verbrook, Verbrook, I want to say. It'll be, it'll be down below the pronunciation. And... Now that's our first plan of attack. After we take these two, you also, you guys, I'm going to have a video on annexing. Annexing is a very key point into into the uh, into your getting more power and more things like that. If you don't annex the cities, they become rogue states, and rogue states, rogue states become. Just states that are on their own. They're fighting with by themselves. And what the rogue states do, after a certain point in time, this capital it becomes a rogue state. Then it branches out and they'll start taking more and more of your land if you do not turn, if you do not defeat the rogue state and put it and you annex it. And the thing that I like to do is because I don't want nothing to happen, I leave a unit while it's annexing. And then when it's done, I take the unit off and I go do it to let it do its business. So, also, I need, I'm low on supplies. If you're low on supplies, you go into your market, and you see this is a 10.2. So, this is a 10.2, and so that means that I buy this right here, so what I am going to do right now, I bought this. So, now I have, now I have 770, and... I have 770s materials now, and then if I keep going, I'm gonna buy. Let's you go. Let's go ahead and buy the whole market because I'm going to need to use this. And this. Okay, so we bought all of this now. The thing is with this, once you buy it all, it's very very rare they put more in the market for you. So this is probably the, the last time we're going to be able to buy rare materials but you can sell off rare materials and I'm going to show you guys how that works so you sell your rare materials 183 and they'll offer you 1647 and you give 183 of that just like if I was to add add a sell offer so I was to sell this and then you would tell them how much you want it to cost you would you would tell them how much you want it to cost to for somebody else to buy it, to buy the rare materials, and so let's just say, let's put it in there, 5.9, oh shoot, 59, I mean, let's see that, 59 would probably be cool, and then, oh no, this is the amount, so the amount, let's just say, 1,000, now units, I mean 100, and then units, if your unit price is 9, it'll be 900, now let's just say, Actually, let's add. Let's make it a thousand. So now it's nine thousand. So now, if you want to just be, which this is, when you're in this game, it's for survival. So to make it the hardest and make more money. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna sell it for nineteen point eight. So now I just made twenty thousand dollars right there off of what is it? One thousand. Uh, one thousand. 
uh, supplies, which which you need. If you need, if they need the supplies that much, they will buy it at that price. And I have bought things at price as well. If you need it, that's how much your people are willing to pay. Then they will buy it. So yes, so the Baltic states. After I'm done taking over that country right there, this country right here, I am going to be moving on to the Baltic states. The first order of attack is to hit uh, Patty or Patty, Patty from the Baltic states, and I'm gonna start just going in a zigzag. I actually, I actually should just show you guys kind of what I mean by that. I'm going to start moving in a zigzag just all across the Baltic state. And you know, it's going to take a little while. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking about put in the comments of you think I should just, I should get a ship before I get there because I don't want them to have a ship and they come and they start attacking my, they start attacking my transit, my port, my transport vehicle. So should I get a, should I get a, a ship to defend them which I'm getting this naval thing as well because I have to get them so they can stay safe while they're going across let's look at let's go ahead and start start um, let's start is it planes planes okay so let's get into this plane right here and we're starting to research okay so that's it for really for this match but this map right here let's let me let you guys look at let's look at the people around us this is russia russia um this is sweden over here and this is uh jamaica land jamaica land okay and this is norway norway all right, so the thing is, now that we're done with this, I want to show you guys one of my other ones that I'm doing. The other ones that I'm doing right now. One of my other ones I'm doing. Oh, shoot. Other ones, another one I'm doing is another Flashpoint. I will be getting to some Forex gameplay. Stay tuned for that. And if this Flashpoint right here, I am Norway. And... I'm taking over, I want to say Denmark right now, and the thing that I'm trying to say is my tra my transport has been attacked, so we're going to go take a look at that. I think I've uh, made them disembark on one of my, uh, one of my capital, the capital, so let's go ahead and see. Um, taking a little second to load. Okay, so right here. Uh-oh. To start anything. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Cancel orders. So we're not going to have them go anywhere, but this is how the map is looking. That's my plane right there looking over so nothing fishy can start. We have all this, this is, was all Denmark, which we're attacking the rest of it. And, I mean, right now, me and, uh, let's go into it right now. Me. Me and Canada. He really wants to make a deal. He really wants to make a deal with... Me leaving the capital to, to him. So I'm going to leave the capital to him just to not to start war because Russia, he owns a lot of stuff. And I mean, like, I don't want to play anything dumb right now. And because if he starts war with me, let's see. If he starts war with me at Scotland, Canada, he's got all of Quebec. He's, he's doing a lot of stuff. He's also got um some... We got all of Iceland up here. So I want to just keep him out of our nose. And I'm just going to let him pass through. So I'm going to let him get the capital of Denmark. And, you know, so you guys will be seeing more gameplay. But I think this is going to be the end.